Hey, Eric, maybe you want to speak to the final slide, because I have a feeling that the audience is probably fully saturated now, ready for that last rousing moment. <laughs> <laughs> Unless there's somebody else who has a really burning desire. <laughs> I was given the task of uh, saying comments at the end here, but primarily to uh, make you aware of the fact that this new, of this uh, initiative is coming up on the 26th of October. Everything we've heard today fits in like a glove to what we're going to do in this next effort here. Just to give you a little bit of a background, I and others have been involved with CAVI for, so since about 2002. This started out, for me to share it with you quickly, there were 40 people getting together in Vancouver Island, randomly pulled together with something in common. The something in common is how can we do things differently? How can we share our ideas? That came uh, in 2006 to become the CAVI, Convening for Action Vancouver Island. And as has been stated, which we've seen absolutely expressed so well today. I want to just share that little reading on the bottom left hand because you can't read it uh, because it's too small. But let me share it with you. From all corners of Vancouver Island and in all sectors, Leaders are wanting opportunities to collaborate, communicate, and share best practices, resources, and information. The general consensus is that there is unnecessary competition and that everyone on the island will benefit from more collaboration and sharing on all levels. Now is not the time to be only concerned with issues within our defined community boundaries and subgroups. We must look outside our boundaries and work with our neighboring communities for the betterment of all. So that is the next level up that we're talking about or attempting to do with this uh, initiative. It was Gandhi that said, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. And I feel like that's the part that we all play, because we all bring our little bit of talent to the table to look at Vancouver Island, and it's always certainly been my concept and feeling that Vancouver Island could be a test case to show the world literally how we can collaborate and pull things together. So it's talking about collaborating, communicating, and reaching consensus on a common vision anchored in long-term sustainability. And John had given me some comments at the early, uh, before I, I got up here, that this conference is about collaborating with Vancouver Island Economic Alliance and Leadership BC to inspire action in leadership for water sustainability on the island. Leadership BC's mission is to cultivate emerging leaders in the central Vancouver Island region. And this year, water sustainability was identified as a focus. As we've heard today again and again, water-centric, if we don't get the water piece right, we're in trouble. And uh, there's been such a, a magnificent commentary today, I think, and bringing reinforcing that point in again, again and again. Cavi's banner is leadership for water sustainability, so the connection with leadership BC was made, and this led to a dialogue on freshwater sustainability, which was held last June, with leadership BC and Cavi participation. So what we see in this conference is looking at development, how we do it, how we can do it the right way. It has been said again and again today that people are going to come, that population is going to increase. The question is, can we get it right? And that really is all about what we're all doing, and it's all about what CAVI is. So if you want to get a little bit more information on this conference, there is a website there. Uh, you might not be able to see it, but I'll spell it out for you, www viea dot ca forward slash summit should you be interested in attending thank you very much thank you very much